How's man? How are you? Just the, the race for you know, your two starting jobs shaking out through the first couple of weeks here. Um, you know, did some leaders emerged, or, or what did you kind of see from those four guys? Yeah, I think I think what's what's happened, uh, and this is a good thing. I think what's happened is I think the you know the race to compete has gotten tighter. It's gotten tighter, you know, between one and four. Uh, the gaps are not widened. The gaps between one and two, two and three, three and four, and one and four have all uh, gotten tighter. Uh, and then I would say, you know, uh, you know, Brian Sanborn has kind of emerged as a as kind of a uh, next guy in that group, and he's done a good job, kind of being a swing guy for us, and being able to play uh, play both. Uh, so it's it's been fun. Um, I think the you know the closer that gap comes between one and four, I think you feel better about. Uh, your overall depth going into the season, who, who can go in and play for you. So I think that's where we're, we're, we're working towards. And when you say it, it's, gotten, it's gotten tighter, I mean, who are the two guys that were maybe, they thought were maybe behind coming in the spring that, yeah. you know, stepped up? Yeah, I don't think, I don't think I, I don't think I had any expectation in terms of where I was, and that's what I told those guys. I said, we're going to kind of, you know, start off fresh when I got the job. I was going to look at all the tape from the spring. I was going to look at any uh, tape that they, the guys played in, in the 20 and 21 seasons. Um, and then, uh, you know, we were, we were going to have a fair opportunity where we were rotating a bunch every day, getting different combinations in there, letting different guys start different periods and rotate. So, you know, we could have a fair assessment of, of where we were at. So I think after after eight practices, like I said, I don't I don't think that that thing separated. I think that thing's got closer. And to me, that's a, that's a real positive because I think every every one of those guys has improved uh, as well as the room. So. Do you? Is there a value yet in the camp to putting two guys together and letting them learn how to play with each other, or are you just looking to get as many reps as you can for each guy? Yeah, I think what you're, you know, certain days, um, you know, it's, it's kind of you kind of have a feel for it, right? If you see if we if we have a day where we're getting a lot of team reps, and, and there's a chance to get a lot of reps, and you know maybe we're moving the ball, maybe we're not script, scripting a practice and we're calling it, and two guys get in there together and, and they get hot together, then I you know I keep that lineup in there and let them play a little bit. But at the end of the day trying to make it as fair as possible so it's as much mix and match it's a much as much hey this guy's in with the one d line then this guy's in with the two d line and flip it or you know against a certain offense or against a certain defense so uh you know the evaluation is is really fair but at the, at the same time we're just looking for everybody to get better in the last few years this inside linebacker group's been used so well in the pass rush do you see guys in your group right now with those skills and those abilities? Absolutely, I think those guys are anxious to, to work on their skills. Uh, but we, yeah, we certainly have guys that have different uh, signature type moves that they can go to, and, and certain guys more, you know, can go down the line with a second and third. Certain certain guys, I want to kind of, you know, stay stay within certain parameters and get good at get good at other things. But I, I really think they, they do a good job of understanding what they what they can do well, and then utilizing that in their toolbox. Do you get bogged down in having a hard date to, to find two starters or you know are you comfortable maybe even going into game week just yeah I don't enough reps and, and maybe seeing how it goes early in yeah season. I think I think at the end of the day you know I've always said to players I said you know uh, I think players grade themselves right and, you know at the end of the day I watch the tape and and, and you know I've, I've got to make a hard decision on whether or not I see it as a plus or a minus or a, you know a bonus play or whatever it is as I'm grading but right then the players grade themselves I'm just I'm just the umpire right so at the end of the day Okay, how many of you are playing at the standard will we'll dictate how many we play, right? Don't put a restriction on it as, as far as it's got to be one or two. Like if four guys are playing at a standard uh, that we've had here, then they'll have opportunities to, to get in the game. You know, make make our job difficult. It's really their job. It's not to worry about who's one and two. Just play well every day, go through the process, and, 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 and make it hard on us. And out of that, to me, if we can build that depth and we can have multiple guys go in the game and play well for us, then, then great, we're in great shape then. I think I want to ask you about Jordan Turner. Yep. I'm sure you watched the Las Vegas Bowl last year. Yep. Just kind of get a few of these guys. We had a couple plays in that game. Yeah, sure. You know, really how, how has he just gone from, I know you haven't been around him all the yep. time, but you know, being a reserve guy, how do you kind of feel he's handling you know, the potential workload of a starter um, that should be in that? Yeah, no, I think I think I think he, he's anxious to, to take on more plays and more responsibility, and I think uh, to be honest, I, I believe the, the, the whole room feels that way. Um, so I think he's you know he's ready to do that. He's very he's very sharp. Uh, he's got a high football IQ. Um, he's got he's got a lot of things in his toolbox in terms of being able to you know to strike and, and, and be able to pass rush and defend the pass. So uh, you know. He's done a good job. He's, you know, I think he's he's moved into his role right now, and I think, uh, you know.
you know, I, 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 I see a lot of the same from the whole group, though. I was going to ask, is he maybe your most well-rounded linebacker in terms of somebody that can do every you know, bunch of different things, pass covers, play side on the sideline, blitz, and does he have that skill set? Yeah, he, yeah he, he, definitely has, he definitely has a wide-ranging skill set, and, you know, there are uh, a couple of guys based on, you know, however many reps they've gotten or whether it's been years or whether the opportunity um, to be at multiple spots, there are a couple of guys that can, can cross train, that can play. The spots are a little different between the Mike and Will and what we ask those guys to do. There are a couple of guys that can, uh, can cross train. Jordan's one of those guys. He can he can play our Mike or Will. And again, we, we ask those guys to do some, some different some different things within the scheme. So uh, definitely has a toolbox to be able to, to expand on the game and, and do those things. What steps have you seen Jake Cheney take over the last, well, since you've been around yeah. him really? Because we've seen him play a little bit more yeah. and then we've throughout spring and here yeah. we've seen the, the physicality and the thump that he brings. There's no, there's no doubt. Uh, uh, he, he's physical and, and, uh, and I, think, I think that's been the mindset of, of, of the group. I think all the, uh, all the group I think has, has been physical. I, don't, I haven't had a, a point here where I, I, you know, I felt like uh, you know, on the whole for the most part that we weren't physical, but, but Jake certainly uh, wants that to be a signature part of his game. He takes he takes pride in it and uh, it's obvious when he's on the field and, and he does thump. Uh, I think everybody feels it.